So, we want to clean off now all this sticky leftover residue from the old membrane. Like I said, we just take that wax and grease remover and you're going to go through and just wipe it on and get all that off. It will take a little while to get off. It's not the actual easiest thing to get off. As you can see there, it starts to come off. It keeps it nice and clean. You can see the black coming off. Now, we're going to go through and quickly clean all that, but it's important when you're doing this stage, you actually want to clean the inside as well, because we actually have to align the inside of the door trim as well, the door panel. And the reason is that outer, outer paneling is often quite thin, and a lot of that introduced outside road noise is what affects the new stereo system. So let's go through and clean that at the same time. Now, you will have to do this with your window up, so just make sure your window is being wound up. And this will give you a nice clean adhesion so it will actually never come off. The next step from here, we want to put our outer layer on. Now, this can be the trickiest part of the setup here, but the best way to do this is actually just sit the top layer up. So we just peel the top section and we line a couple of top holes up. By doing this, you can actually move it around a little bit if you don't get it in the right spot straight up. section. As we go, we can just pull the back of the sheeting off. So it will tear a bit, it's just basically a paper, wax paper. Now key here is when you're actually putting these through, make sure you put your cables through. So we've got a couple of cables to do, so we're going to push them through the holes. Bring them through nice and neat and make sure they're on the outside. So here we go, that one up the top, just gonna sit with the top tweeter. Looks like we got two here, so we're gonna bring these through the hole. Nice and neat, and then if you come over here, you'll see we've just gotta line up these holes. So we're gonna make sure some of these holes line up because that's the important part when we're putting paneling back on. So that's why we do that hole slightly bigger so we've got a little bit of flex and a bit of leeway. So as you can see here, these holes are lining up, nice and neat. Just a bit of flex. Because when you cut this out, you're cutting on a flat, but when you're going on a door panel, it's all different concave. So a little bit of leeway is gonna give you enough room to be able to get those paneling all the way on. So we've got a couple of cables here to run through. Cables. Oh, actually, we're going to run those through the other ones. This one's over here. We're going to line that up to our holes. Make sure the rest of our cables come out. And pull off the last bit of the baking plate. Perfect, and this top section here, there is a couple of plugs that we're going to use, so we're probably going to cut around those just to make the layering a little bit nicer. This is where the tweeter mounts, so seal that up. We have it guys so that's basically how we're going to lay out the whole kit and it comes out nice and neat in this single large piece so you can see there we have a slight tear here so you can actually patch that up so that's not going to be an issue or you can just sit it back down 
it's just going to look like any other cut that's on the system but you can see all the holes are still going to be able to screw up nice and neat and it doesn't have to be 100 percent perfect but obviously the more time you take in cutting up your template in the first place the neater it's actually going to end up and you're going to make sure you go through stick it down really really well so it's never going to come off a couple of little things guys, so that is the finished result. We're going to actually do a couple of small additions and test our trim on because that's what you're going to do at the end. One of those cutoff bits that I've got here for these cables, some of these cables, not on this particular car because this is a Subaru, it's using cables, but some cars have rods that actually move. So these cables here will move inside the cable. So you've got a cable and a cable or in a sheeting. And, but some of the cars have rods that come through here. So the best way to do this is take a secondary piece Put it behind the sound skins facing into the door. And if you place that behind there, it stops it being sticky. Okay, and that will allow these cables, if they should move, to be able to move freely without getting stuck and tearing the material. So you can cut off little square sheets and put them on the inside of that paneling, and that's really going to make it nice and easy for those rods to move without tearing or damaging anything. Again, here we've got a couple of holes we probably don't need, so if you really wanted to, you could cover these excess holes. So we have a hole here where the cable comes out, but probably don't need that extra excess there, and it's very close to the speaker. So we're gonna go ahead and patch that. I'm gonna put another piece over it, so I could probably do that now. So we can just cut this up. I'm just gonna do this quickly for the sake of the video, but obviously when you're doing any work on your car, you wanna make sure it's as neat as possible. So we can actually just patch this up. So we put that patch over there and that will seal that hole and that, that will just give you a better acoustic seal again. So the idea is trying to make it airtight seals so it does act like a speaker box. So this bottom section here, I would probably cover that one as well. Because we don't need that one, it's actually running a cable through it but the cable's already out the other hole so it's unnecessary. So this is a very versatile way to work with it and it still looks very neat for the completed project. Very, very nice. All right, we're gonna put this on now. It's gonna put our tweeters back in location so you can actually see how it's gonna look as a finished result. We can compare them side by side. Now be aware, we're running Soundskins rings on these tweeters and this uh, mid-base driver, so don't take that as absolutely exactly how it's gonna look. You will have to buy these Soundskins rings kits separately. We do have them available on our website, but check out our other videos on our YouTube channel to see how they work. Pick up a couple of screws. Here they are on the back of the magnet. Okay, so there's some of our plugs that are going to go off our door trim. That's going to go up to the secondary tweeter up there, which can plug that in quickly as well for you. So you can just see where it's nice and neat. And you can seal that up nice and neatly. Uh, this is actually here for external mirror, but this car being a demonstration does not have that. But that is the completed job of the sound skin. So if you zoom out and you can actually see the two, this is before and after. You can see the sound skin comes up in a large single piece looks really really good it's going to retain that waterproof membrane and it's going to sound unbelievable so very very cool